Facebook Live, Facebook Live, we have arrived one more time, y'all. Um, let's um, let's get it in. Conference muted. Conference recording started. I want to thank everybody for chiming in. This is Watchman Derek Yahuda Israel, also known as Pastor Derek, on the evening scripture study on his twenty eighth day. In February 2022. Let's go back to Jude. I taught on Jude the other day. And so I guess. Um, we're back in here. Demina, good to see you. Good to see you in here. Hallelujah. Who else is in here? Um, Mark Logan, good to see you in here, sir. Bless you. We got Pastor Tinsley in here, and Yakuan and Charles. I guess we got Maria and Nilsson, or Maria or Nilsson. <laughs> um, as y'all chime in, feel free to push the uh. The share button. Um, Keita, good to see you in here. Y'all get your tag on. Super easy to go witness and all you gotta do is push the tag button. Yeah, just just tag people. Technology solved all kind of stuff, didn't it? <coughs> Mother Katie, good to see you um, in here. We in Jude, y'all. Um the 15th chapter in Jude. That was a joke, right? Jude only has one chapter. Pastor Bells, good to see you in here, sir. Always a pleasure. Uh, Jude, um, chapter 1, beginning um, at the 21st verse. Did I pray? Well, I'm going to pray again if I, if I did. Spirit of the Most High, we love you, and we, and, we, and we love you. We thank you. We need you. We've been calling on you. Um, thank you for illuminating us, quickening us, making us aware of your presence. And we're in awe of you. We're in desperate, desperate need, need of you for the transformation process. Continue the transformation process. You began the work. Now finish it according to your will. And we'll be careful to give you the praise and honor, not only now, but forever. In the matchless name of Yahushua, we help me pray. Hallelujah. And am I? I show I show wanted to see. I didn't I didn't arrange it right, but it would have been nice if I would have had um, Tierra Banks. Good to see you in here, Latricia Johnson. I was gonna call on one of you singers today to bless us, uh, bless us to, to, uh, with a song to usher us um, into His presence. Which one of y'all sing and want to sing a song for the most high? Is anybody out there? Don Deems, good to see you. Good to see you all. As y'all come in, feel free to get your tag game on, please. And um, push the share button. Those of you that's willing to share your platforms with the word. Uh, Denise Wilkins, good to see you in here. Uh, Melissa Green, good to see you. Good to see you. I'm not going to wait too much longer. But I show one of the song. Mm, I guess I'll leave. I didn't arrange it, y'all. That's my fault. Man, the Yahoo Doss, man. You want to bless us with a song? You want to chime on in so you can sing a solo right quick, man? Man, the Yahoo <laughs> I know that yes sir wasn't for the song. Couldn't have been. <laughs> Couldn't have been. If you did try to get in, I wouldn't let you. Alright, y'all. Jude. <clears throat> let's uh let's dive in the word. Not gonna wait no longer. Maybe somebody wanna sing uh after the song, something to send us home. Koala Yahoo. <laughs> Koala Yahoo, good to see you in here. 
No, no, he do not, Melissa. No, far from it. No, he do, he do not sing. Jude 20. Look what it say. No, 21. Look what it say. Look what it say. This says, keep yourself in the love of Yah, looking for the mercy of our Adonai, Yahushua HaMashiach, onto eternal life. See, there you go. I'm just looking for you, Chantel. You're supposed to come in and sing, but now I'm in the Word. Now we in Jude one, beginning at the twenty first verse. Look at this. I just want you to say it be simplicity. It's nothing deep. Okay. This is what it says. It says, "Keep yourselves in the love of Yah, looking for the mercy of our Adonai." Right. Our master, Yahushua HaMashiach, our, our savior, our Messiah, right? On to eternal life. Y'all see that? It says, it says, um, keep yourself, didn't it? Is that what it said? It, it, it said, it said, it said, uh, keep yourself. See, through, you know, false teaching, through false teaching, we, we get, we, 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 we get a, a, a um, a, 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 just we get a we get a false perception on what's really going on, right? Like, like, like let's deal with a mindset, right? Let's deal with a mindset. You know that you know Jesus saved, right? Jesus saves, right? Yahusha, Yahusha saves. That's a mindset, right? Look at that. So we're looking for him to do something. That's what, from a theology, I'm talking about psychologically, just roll with me. Look at this. I'm looking for the Messiah to save me. Okay. I get that. I get that. And then to perpetrate that thought, Catholicism got involved. Right? And it perpetrated the truth, because that's true. Yahushua saves, period. And you can't be saved without him. But when it's perverted, when it's presented to you and it's perverted, you then take a back seat in a satanic manner, in a religious manner. Is that better? Yahushua saves. Um, like I told y'all in the past, I'm, I'm going to say it again because it's going to help the lesson, but, um, he the one died for our sins, right? He, he's the one that died for our sins, right? And then he rose again for our justification. But, but again, coming from a proper theological position, we then find out he's a first fruit and we follow suit. And that's what's left out of the perverted uh, Catholicized interpretation of scripture or the interpretation of the relationship we're supposed to have, you know, with the Most High via the Messiah, right? Had we been taught right from the gate, we would have been taught that we're baptized into his death. And like as he was raised up by the Kaaba or the glory of the Father, even so we should walk in the newness of life. For if we have been planted together in the likeness of his death, we should be also in the likeness of his resurrection, knowing this, that our old man is crucified with him. Right? That the body of sin might be destroyed, that henceforth, moving forward, we don't serve sin. We don't live in sin no more. That wasn't explained 
it, it was more put from a theological position that he did it all and we're just sinners. We're wicked folk. No, it, it's time for us to wake up. The soul, the soul that sinners is going to die. And let's resume responsibility. I'm being a little redundant tonight, but I'm just telling you that um, he cannot deny himself. He's not going to go against his word. I, it's masterful how he saved us. I'm trying to drive it home, y'all. But it's masterful on how he saved us. And how he saved us was took the punishment, death, and turned it into the solution. He took the punishment and turned it into the solution. You know how masterful that is? By introducing a new birth. Yeah. So we're joined into his death. Baptized into his death. That like as he was raised up by the glory of the Father, we're, 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 we're experiencing his resurrection right now. That's why, that's why when he was talking to Martha, Martha and Mary, Miriam, Martha and Miriam, Mary, whatever you want to call her, but about, about Lazarus, she was thinking, I know you're the resurrection. You're going to raise him up on the last day. He was trying to explain to her, no, I'm the resurrection right now. Good to see you in here, Barbara. I'm the resurrection right now. We got to get that revelation that, 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 that dealing with the Messiah, he's literally the resurrection right now. And so now our responsibility is to be willing to be baptized into his death, to rise up to walk in the newness of life and, and, and suffer in our flesh to hold on to the resurrection. Because he explained, I'm the resurrection right now. Folks is waiting for the resurrection later. No, we're resurrected to walk in the newness of life. Right, right now. And your old nature didn't get the memo because it's carnal and the carnal mind is enmity against Yah. It's not subject to the law of Yah. Neither indeed can be. Your evil nature is not going to get saved. You're going to have to choke that joker out. You're going to have to do what the word said. You're going to have to mortify the deeds of the flesh. You're going to have to kill the noise of what you're talking about. Every imagination and high thought that exalts itself against the knowledge of Yah, which is his word, you have to take responsibility and kill it. Now, to, to explore, you know, the invasion of the, the perversion, dealing with Constantine and, and the Roman Catholic Church, you know, that, that borrowed, that stole their ideology from Egyptology. Egyptology sold, stole their stuff from Nimrod, uh, 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 Semiramis, whatever that woman name is, Semiramis, uh, 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 Nimrod, and, and their son Tammuz. That's where they got the Trinity. That was the original Trinity. But they also got all this moon, you know, astrology, uh, astrology worship, moon and sun god worship, and all this foolishness. Leslie Sutton, good to see you on. And then they came up with, you know, with, with all these new, you know, you know, you know, you know, holy days, satanic holy days, Christmas and Easter. I, I'll read it. Go to thir three. Dear friends, although I was eager to write to you about the salvation we share, I don't want to read it in this version. I just don't feel like it. So I'm not going to. <laughs> anyway, third verse. Look what it say. Oh, this is even worse. Hold on, y'all. Let me fix fix this real quick. Okay, here we go. It just sounds better to me because I can't do that right now. All right. 
Beloved, when I gave diligence to write unto you of the common salvation, common salvation, it was needful for me to write unto you and exhort you that you should earnestly contend for the faith which was once delivered unto the saints. So, so we got to go to the origin. Before they Catholicized stuff, before they took the Apocrypha out, before they painted their images in, before they start scrambling and, and, and changing stuff. Yeah, we got to study. We, we got to contend for the faith that was once delivered unto the saints. Look what it says. For there are certain men that crept in unaware who were of old ordained to this condemnation. They're of old ordained. This happened before we was born. Unyali men and turn the grace, the unmerited favor of Yah into lasciviousness. They switched the very definition because grace is every step that he made to save you because you couldn't do it. It was out of man's hands from the jump. Death had right to man. Death came to, to get paid. And the wage of sin is death. And the word is going out of his mouth will not return void. Death is working right now, and it has every right to. Destruction is working right now, and it has every right to. Now that, well, that's why there's wars and famine and trouble and families don't get along. Folks scandalous. Listen. Because death has a right. I, I told y'all, all the way down to um, death was working when he confounded the land because it, was it wasn't number one uh, uh, land mass and one people well, one language, all on one accord. That's unity, and that type of unity and synergy can only come from the most high. Well, he busted it up because of evil. First, he did it spiritually and confounded their languages. Then he did it physically with the Pangea and busted up the landmass and separated folk because they was wicked. Jeff Brown. But historically, there were some unyali people that came in and started messing with some things. Yeah. Back down to 21, y'all. <clears throat> so it says, keep yourself in the love of Yah. It, it told you to do it. Whosoever will, let him come. He said, you do it. You, you, you know what his grace is? He gave you the power to do it. Do you know where people go wrong? Because they think he did it all, which to be honest with you, he did do it all in his word. It's all done in his will and in his word. It's all done for the believer in his will and in his word. It's done. Battle, good to see you on. It's all done. And you know who reaped that? The believer. For Yah so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believe, believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Automatic. The believer reaps the benefits and the power to deny our evil nature. Because the wages of sin is death. He's the same today, yesterday, and forevermore. People are looking for another way out. No, stop sinning is the way out. And he'll supply you with the grace to stop sinning. How many of us is changing? How many of us let grudges go? How many of us can reach out to one another and make amends? How many of us is forgiving? How many of us going out of their way? How many of us is going out of our way to be a peacemaker? Not only a peacemaker, check this out. It's different between a peacemaker and a peacekeeper. Because if you're keeping it, that means it's some peace to be kept. But one of it ain't no peace. Who go make it? Who, who's a peacemaker? Love is proactive. Love is leave, love is leave your gift at the altar and go and go be proactive do something that's not tainted by your flesh you don't want to, you don't want to be the first one to apologize you, you don't want to be the first one uh, uh, to to go witness it to put your name on you don't you you don't want to sign up because you don't want the burden of the responsibility who's gonna take the responsibility?
for the Basura, for, for the gospel. Who has perceived the love of Yah? Perceived it. Know what it is. Perception. Who's perceived the love of Yah? Keisha Beard, always a pleasure, young lady. Good to see you in here. Who has perceived the love of Yah that he laid down his life for us? Perceived to the point that now we lay down our life for the brother. Did you know everything I'm quoting and saying is the love of the Most High? And it's his grace that we have it and we can participate in it. And it's the believer that participate in it. And you shall know every tree by the fruit they bear. You can just watch a person and see if they're participating in the love of Yah or not. But this scripture says, keep yourself. You do it. Enemy try to make you think it's all done. You ain't got to do nothing. Check this out. He, the Bible said, keep yourself in the love of you. You do it. You need more understanding of how to do it. We talk, we talking about it. But the command is already here. Keep You keep yourself. Jesus did it all. Pump your brakes. Listen, you keep yourself in the love of you. And in return, you're looking for mercy. <laughs> you do it. How? One might ask. Greater is he that's in you than, than he that's in the world. Who, who's in us? The word. The Ruach HaKadosh. John 6 and 63 say it's the spirit that quickeneth. It's the Ruah that quickens. It's the Ruah that makes us alive. The flesh profits nothing. Whatever's inside of you working is not working for your flesh. It's not working for your human nature. It's not working for who you used to be. It's working, it's working to keep you in the new birth. It's working to so you can keep yourself in the love of Yah. It's the spirit. It's the word. Obeying the word is how you stay in the love of Yah. Because his word is the love of Yah. <laughs> Keep yourselves. You. Okay, so if I'm working on my, 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 my salvation with fear and trembling, is that, is that what I taught this morning? I think it is. But if I was to uh, keep myself. If I if I was to uh, you know work out my my salvation right my my, my, my sal I'm working listen I'm working out my salvation right with fear and trembling right um I am I am uh meditating in the word right I'm studying to show myself approved right I'm not studying to show myself approve as a, a know-it-all, I'm studying to show my life approved before Yah. Right? I'm studying the word so my life can line up. I'm studying to show myself approved on the Yah. A workman need, my, need not be ashamed, right? Divide the word of truth, right? So I'm in the word so I can go through a transformation process. Here we go. Cause, because greater is he that's in me than he that's in the world. Now I have an evil nature. Right, that carnal mind that's enmity against Yah is not sub to the law of Yah, neither indeed can be. And that joke will rise up every single day. That's why Shaul said, I die daily. He's dying to his 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 human nature. And he, and he's buffeting his, he's fighting himself so he can stay in the Ruah, which is keep yourselves in the love of Yah, right? I'm making decisions to keep myself in the love of Yah. It's a decision. And it's an ugly day when you meet that sexy girl or that handsome boy, that sexy, that sexy woman, that handsome man. You meet that 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 grudge or that disagreement or or or, or that amount of money. To whereas you choose to indulge in that, and it will it will pull you out of the love of Yah. It'll pull you out. There's things in the world that will pull you out of the love of Yah, and leave you stranded without Yah, but having a form of having it will leave you 
will leave will will leave you religious, having a form of yachtiness, denying the power thereof. I'm just saying. When the Bible, the Bible never would have told you to keep yourself in the love of Yah. Look, we talk about the love of Yah. The Bible never would have gave you a commandment to keep yourself in the love of Yah unless it was difficult to do. There's opposition. When you're in the flesh, you have a reason not to keep yourself in the love of Yah because you want to, you want the love of a man. You want the love of a woman. You want the fake love and respect that people give you when you have money. So you want, you want a pursuit of, of, of wealth and money. Yeah, you can't serve two masters. And he classified money as a master. Because the love of it is the root of all this crap we're going through. <laughs> Look what it say, y'all. It said, keep yourself in the love of Yah. You do it. How many willing to you do it? Have you ever looked at it like that? That is your responsibility. You figure that out? It's it's my responsibility. If if I if look at this, look at this. If a person is an alcoholic on drugs, fornicating, commit adultery, whatever they might be doing, right? They're doing that willingly. You can have all the conversations, all the excuses in the world, but no, no temptation has taken any of us other than that which is common to man. But the Most High who is faithful will not suffer us to be tempted above that which we are able. But with the temptation, make a way of escape that we might be able to bear it. Oh, you can bear it. And the might be is not because of the word. The might be is because of us because we might not want to. We might be that hurt, that disappointed, that angry, that lustful, that greedy, that we come that we that 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 that, that we're overtaken by the temptation. But we can't blame him. We're making look. He said, I said before you good and evil, life and death. He said, choose life. He told you which one to choose, but you have a choice. When I was younger, I ain't saying my caring changed, but my reaction to how, how much I cared has changed. Because I used to almost try to force people to be saved. And you can't. It ain't going to happen. And you learn that. That's why he wants you to learn how to rule your house because you won't be able to rule the house of prayer if you don't know how to deal with your own household, right? Because when you deal with your own household and you got older children, when they get older, you got to let them go. And they'll do a whole, whole bunch of stuff that you don't agree with. But you got to learn to let them go. You raise them up the best you knew how. Maybe you weren't that good at it. I don't know. But at the end of the day, when they go, they, they do what they want to do. And you got to learn to back up. And I learned, I learned that people do what they want to do and you can't stop them. And all you had to do was reflect when you got older. You did what you wanted to do regardless of what your parents said or thought. Then we'll tell them, I'm grown. <laughs> did you say it? So you should get this revelation. Y'all with me? Keep yourselves in the love of Yah. That's what the Bible said, right? With expectation. Looking for mercy, the mercy of our master, Adonai, Yahushua HaMashiach, onto eternal life. Find, we, we do understand, again, that in 2 Corinthians 5 and 16, says we don't know each other after the flesh no more. And it even says moving forward, we don't know the Messiah after the flesh no more. So when we get that revelation that the word was made flesh, right? The word was made flesh and the flesh had to obey the word to bail man out. Well, that's exactly what the flesh did. And when he hung on that tree, he said, it is finished. He finished the job. He did a little more witnessing and then he rose. He left up out of here because the, the mission was, was, was complete. 
Now the word has access for reconciliation. We have we have access to the word. The, the veil in the temple was ripped from top to bottom. Now we have action at the word of the most high. We're reconciled. So we don't know the Messiah after this human flesh no more. That was defeated on, 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 on the torture stage. And, 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 and we reap the benefits of it being defeated when we believe. It's defeated for the believer. Because the real mission was to be reconciled with the word. That was the whole thing. Soon as Adam sinned, he said the seed of the woman will bruise the head of the serpent, and the serpent's head will bruise his heel. The bruising of the heel is dying on that tree. Him crushing his head is the reconciliation of man back with the Most High. <clears throat> and when we confess with our mouth and believed in our heart of the work that the, that the Word did, being found fashioned as a man, we believed in that Word. We confess it with our mouth, believed in our heart. The, 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 the results of the work was baptized inside of us. And that's the Ruah HaKadosh and or the living Ruah, word of Yah living inside of us. We've been reconciled and it's leading and guiding us. And that's why the Bible said, great is he that's in us than he that's in the world. Because now we got the power of the word, the creating power of the word that recreated us, gave us action at a new birth, and now we can walk in the newness of life because if any man be in the Messiah, he's a new creation. All things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. Acts 1, it said, after the rule of Hakkadish come upon you, you shall receive power. Al Watts, good to see you on. Now we got the ability to be something we wasn't. I'm not who I used to be. Al Watts and I went to went, went to school together. I'm not him no more. Because I've been born again. And, and what was born in me, let's get away from the cliches and get the understanding and all that getting get understanding, right? Greater is he that's in you. The living word that's inside of us is greater than he that's in the world. You know what's in the world? The lust of the eye, the lust of the flesh, and the pride of life. The lust of the eye, the lust of the flesh, and the pride of life. The attributes of our fallen nature. People are born in sin and they're born with a fallen nature. We were born again so uh, uh, the real word that created everything is recreating us and giving us back the life we lost when sin came in. The word is baptized inside of us and now we can be reconciled with the word to walk in eternal life. Walk according to the will of the Most High. We've been we've been reconciled with our Creator. Straight up. And now is this scripture here is disclosing the whole book is disclosing uh, the false doctrine that came in, the disobedience, how man fell short, not being able to keep the law. All that's right in this one chapter. Then it tells you your responsibility as a born-again believer. Keep yourself in the love of Yah. In other words, don't turn on him. In other words, don't sell him out. In other words, you made a, a vow. Keep your vow. You confessed with your mouth that he was master, didn't you? And believe in your heart. That the power of the word rose him from the dead. Did you do that? Then the word was activated. It stood at the door and knocked. You heard the word, you let him in. It's activated. Now, now the, 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 the creating power of the word, when he said, let there be light, there was light. That same word inside of us, shining the light of the basura, the gospel inside of us. The will of the Most High is shining inside of us and it's powerful. And it's more powerful than anything that's in the world. The lust of the eye, the lust of the flesh, and the pride of life. And we can turn on the word for the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eye, and the pride of life. We can turn on him. 
And this scripture is saying, don't do it. Keep yourselves in the love of Yah. Because what will it profit a man to gain the whole world and lose his soul? Or what will a man give the change for his soul? This is not the time to be playing with your soul, to be playing spiritual Russian roulette. This is not the time. You keep yourself. You keep your own mouth. You stop cussing. You stop holding grudge. You stop watching porno. You stop sleeping around, tipping and dipping. You stop. Keep yourself in the love of Yah. The ark of safety. You, you do it. Is he precious to you? How valuable is the relationship to you? Do you think again, I'm going to say it again, y'all. Do you think he said, you got to love me with all my heart, all your heart, mind, soul, and strength because the ego tripping? Because if you, if you really get to know him, you'll find out he did it to, to protect you. Because if you don't love him with all your heart, mind, soul, and strength, you're going to be double-minded. You're going to try to love him and, and, and somebody else, and he's not sharing his glory with another. He has that right, but look at what that right does for you. Ain't nobody ego bigger than his. Ain't nobody got a right for an ego big, bigger than here, but he's love. He's not beating his chest and using uh, uh, who he really is and what he really is against you or nobody else. He's actually using who he is and what he is to rescue all of us. It's not his will that any should perish, but all should come on to, uh, 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 but all should come on to repentance. He want to save us all, but he gave us a free will. It's up to you. And that's why the 21st verse say, keep yourselves. You do it. You do it. Oh, I'm just sick of it. Okay. They ain't going for, okay. I mean, that's a decision. God told me that was my husband because I seen him first and she married him, but he really belonged to him. You, come, you go on with all that old witchcraft voodoo crazy stuff. You, you can do whatever you want to do. You you can believe a lie. You can listen to your flesh. You can, you can burn sage. You can, you can read the Zodiac. You, you can do whatever you want to do. But what, the, what Yah told you to do is keep yourself in his love. With expectation too. And the expectation is you're looking for mercy. And oh boy, do we need it. In the times we live in, in Latanya Stanley, good to see you in here. In the times we live in, in Latanya, I'm looking for his mercy. Yeah, the seal been cracked open to World War Three, and we need his mercy. The melanated folks, they ain't even letting them go to safety which is a whole nother conversation. I don't know how deep I want to get into that. But again, even though historically it said what, uh, uh, what, 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 what the prayers over there uh, 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 did of uh, Rush, you know, the, the president over there, he um, supposedly, you know, you know, helped the slaves over here during the Civil War you know, stop them from ending it. And then, and then the North one, and I, and I get all that, but I'm going to tell you something. Don't you ever forget what the word say. The word says uh, that all nations, you'll be hated of all nations for my name say all. And so if we ever get favor from anybody, it's going to be uh, because he's even able to make your enemies at peace with you, but he's our true savior and our true rescuer. And that's why we don't pledge allegiance to no flag. We pledge allegiance to the most high and them alone. And you can't get caught up into that. You can't be trusted nobody but him. Oh, I'm trying to talk to you. Brianna, good to see you in here. Keep yourself. We're in Jude 1 and 21. Keep yourself. Keep Listen, keep yourself in the love of Yah with expectation. He's the ark of safety. Uh, in, in, in Egypt, here we go again. 
when when the Most High was destroying the ten pantheon gods, and down to the lad the, to the firstborn that had the religious right to the family, and deemed the office that would take on uh, Pharaoh that would become a Pharaoh, right? He he killed all ten when he was tearing up them ten pantheon gods. Uh, Israel was was in Goshen safe. Don't don't forget that because he's able to set up green pastures, steel waters, and tables. Tables with feast. Oh, taste and see that he's good. He spread the table in the presence of your enemies. Those that that those that keep themselves. In the love of Yah, because because there, there's reasons not to keep yourself in the love of Yah. You be cheating yourself, you be damning yourself, you be dooming your soul. But some people do that. Some people make unwise decisions, and they choose this current and present wicked world over Him, and they get tired of uh, suffering and going through. Get tired of living right. Get tired of telling themselves no. That's why he told us, you keep yourself in the love of Yah. You don't need the love of that man like that. You don't need the love of, of that woman like that. You don't need the love of nobody else but him. Anything else is grave. You, you can't put nothing to nobody before him. You got to walk You gotta walk in his love. In him, we live, move, and have our being. You stay. Hold no grudge. I ain't becoming stingy. I'm not turning my back on his work or his people. Because he told me to keep myself in his love. And I'm looking for some mercy. I'll tell you that now. I'm looking for the mercy of the Most High. I'm looking for the mercy of the Most High, straight up. That's what I'm looking for. I need his mercy. And then, and matter Yahoo 5, what is it? Is it 5 and 5 or 5 and 7? Whatever it is. I think it might be 5 and 5, but it says the merciful shall obtain mercy. So then I, I, I'm looking for, I'm going to keep my, myself in his love and I'm going to use the tools that he gave me to use, right? I'm going to use the tools that he gave me to use, right? Listen, I'm, I'm going to sit inside of Yah's love. I'm going to work from there. And um, I'm looking for mercy. Well, inside of his love, there is mercy. Yeah. Keep, keep yourself, keep, keep, keep yourself in his love. Let's look at it. Let's look at it right quick. Go to Galatians 5 with me. I just want to show you. I'm not going to keep y'all. Yeah, really. I'm not going to do that. At least that's not my intention. <laughs> anyway. 21 is it? I think it is. Let me see. Oh, what I'm talking about 21. Uh, it's 23. 22. 22. I said 21. No, it's 22. Um, but I don't want this like this. Where am I at? Let me try something else. Is this a, let me just switch. Okay, I read it over here. This is cool. I ain't got to be that picky. But look at this. Okay. I'm in the NIV, y'all. But the fruit of the Spirit. What's the Spirit? The Spirit of Yah. Yeah. It's love. Yah is love. And in it is joy. Yeah. In times like these. And peace. That's why when he was robed in the body, he was the prince of it. The prince of peace. Listen. Forbearance. Forbearing one another. Putting up with one another and covering one another. Love covers a multitude of sin. I'm covering you. I'm with you. I got your back. Praying with you. Trying to help you. Kindness. While we're abiding in his love, not only are we receiving this, but we're re we are reciprocating this. We're sharing this 
with his body. With it. Listen, love, joy, peace, forbearance, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, root word, faith, doing what he say. How often? Faithfully. Consistently. Gentleness. Self-control. Against such, there is no law. There's no law against that, y'all. That's why we're not under the law. Because there's no law against how we live. Folks think we arbitrarily not under the law. Well, if you study, you'll find out there's a reason why we're not under the law. Because there, there is no law against the Ruach HaKadosh, the spirit of the Most High. You're not, you're not a lawbreaker. Timothy 1 and 7 says the law was made for, 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 for the lawless, for the sinner, for the unyali. It's not made, the law, it said the, verbatim, the law is not made for a righteous man. Because there is no law again. Come on, y'all. He said, keep yourself in his love. You'll be kept by his love. And while you're kept by it, you'll utilize it. That's why you should know every tree by the fruit it bear. You can tell somebody that belongs to him. Because they walk in love. Religious folks, you can't tell. You cannot tell. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm now, I'm not even talking about the, 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 the believers that you can get drunk and high with, go rob a bank with, commit fornication and adultery with. Those are obvious folks. They still want to claim him even though they're living like that, right? But I'm talking about those that don't do that. You can tell who belong to Yah because they're giving and they're loving and they're helpful and they're kind and they have Love, joy, peace, forbearance, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. I'm telling you that, period. You should know every tree by the fruit it bear. It didn't say some trees, it said every. You ain't got to sit around and guess. There's some folks that are religious, know the word, but they're self-centered. And they just really, about. they don't know what it is to go out of their way. They just don't know what it is because they don't know him. Knowing the word, uh, the letter killeth. It's the ruah that gives life. When you had a ruah, you'll do things that people will be shocked that you do. And you'll do it consistently. That's how you live. For Yah so loved the world, he gave. True believers are givers. And forgivers too. That's why he, when he told you how to pray, come right. Leave your stuff at the altar. Come right. If you do not forgive men their trespasses, neither will your heavenly father forgive you your. It's his spirit. He said, keep yourself in it. Because the devil going to try to call you out of it. Because he went against it. And got cast out. Him and his crew. Read the book of Enoch. You'll find them. By name. Let me go back so we can get out of here, y'all. Back to Jude 21. We got the responsibility. Keep yourself. You, you do it. In his love. Yeah. And we found out how to do it. His word. Yeah. Yeah. Believing in his word. For Yah so loved the world, it told you what it was. You want to know what his love is? An attribute. He, first it said he is love. Let's get that part straight. But for Yah so loved the attributes of his character, what did he do? He gave. The most precious thing he had which was his human life for our life. David, good to see you in here, man. Yeah. And hereby receive we the love of God. If we perceive his love, perceive it. What is it? If you perceive it, you'll do it. Because hereby receive we the love of God. Because he laid down his life for us. 
And if we perceive it, we're going to lay down our lives for the brother. I'm just telling you how to keep yourself in his love. Forget this religious stuff. Yeah, that ain't going to help. We need the real thing. And he's last and evil day. Save yourself from this untoward generation. Look at the responsibility in scriptures like that. Save yourself. Keep yourself in his love. You do it. You find his love. Keep yourself in it. Not just around it. In it. And while you're in it, it builds your expectation and you have the right that's given to you from his love to look for mercy. <laughs> the mercy that comes from the Mashiach, which was the word made flesh. But don't you ever forget that the flesh showed his love, then died, then left. And then the word came back without him to be baptized inside of us. So the ultimate love we have now is for and with his word. Is that all right? We need his word. What do you say about it? Keep that. Stay in that. You buy in this word, this word abide in you, you can ask what you will. <laughs> he messing with you because you abiding in his love. Let's pray. Spirit of the Most High, we love you and thank you for this opportunity to come before you. Humble, there's no how gleaning in your presence, in your love. Oh, I'm going to buy it under the shadow of the Almighty, the shadows of his love. Hallelujah. Uh, thank you for the revelation for us to know our responsibility. We're not going to just throw it all on you. We got something to do. And you gave us the power to do it. <laughs> You gave us, because great is he, you, you baptize yourself inside of us. <laughs> and great is he that's in us than he that's in the world. We're kept by your, by your word. And we're going to keep your word to abide in it. And now we're looking to you for mercy that only you can give. Write a name in the Lamb's Book of Life. Guard it until we see your face in peace. Check the enemy. All these wicked folks that hate us, keep us. All the way up to the moment you take us home, keep us. And we'll be careful to give you the praise and honor, not only now, but forever. In the matchless name, Yahushua, we help me pray. Hallelujah. And Amon. That was the lesson for the day. Thank you, Mark Logan, for putting the number up. But that was the blessing. That was the lesson for the day. I pray it was a blessing. Um um, first, I want to say thank you to everybody that pushed the tag button. Thank you for everybody uh, that did push the share. I also want to say thank you to everybody that supports this ministry. May the most high continue to increase you. Um, I love each and every one of y'all. And thank y'all for that that's willingly being kept in his love. Because you got reason not to. Your flesh is screaming, kicking, and crying. But you telling that joker, no. You're mortifying the deeds of the flesh. You're killing it out that you might abide in this love and you have every right to expect mercy and that mercy is in the word. Go get it. Go get all the mercy you can get your hands on. Is that all right? I think that's all right. If y'all want to talk about the lesson, feel free to dial uh, 302-202-1102 extension 815-648. Again, 302-202. 1102 extension 815648. I'm starting a, a men's meeting on Friday, this coming Friday, and I'm gonna do it once a month. So that's for the men at 7 p.m. We'll talk about more details. Those is gonna be online and those are gonna be in person. But I just want to, you know, say that those of you that want to meet me on the line, y'all meet me over there. We'll just talk about the word real quick, the lesson that went forth. If you're new, chime over. I'd love to meet you. 
Y'all continue to pray for one another. Continue to pray for me as I pray for you. Y'all be Baruch and Baruch Shalom. Y'all.